Hello, welcome to the Badger Revision Software Limited and this is instructions on how to install and use the Plumbing Revision Level 2 software and it's how to use the Level 3 as well. So, first of all, what you need to do is install the program. If you've got a disk you'll end up with um, these icons on your disk and what you're looking for is setup. So you just double click your setup. Let it start to run. At this point during the setup, at this point, what it will do is it's looking for things to see if they're on your computer. If they're not, then you'll get other boxes to in, that will be asking you to install programs. Now you do need to make sure that you do install those programs or the program won't run or install. So, I've already got them, so here we go. Just click install, and you can see the progress bar. It's fairly quick, and as soon as this is finished, then the program will start. Now, during the first run of the program, you would have already been sent a code which you have to um, actually install into the program or program in, and this will enable you to register the program. If you don't register the program, then it won't run. So, it should come up with the first page. So the program's starting now. Now this will only come on first run. It's just checking to see if it has been registered. If it hasn't, then you get this. So it's just telling you that it is the first one. But it's telling you to make sure that you enter the key code in capitals and then you enter your details in onto the boxes. If you don't, then it will take you back to the box where you haven't entered them. So here we go. So we've got put a username in it, must be six characters or more. Okay, so put a password in. I'm not going to mess about too much. Oops. It does uppercase some things that needs them. So if you don't, the only thing it won't uppercase is your email address because that is to be as it sh as you actually write it. Make sure you do put your correct email address in because if you don't, um, what will happen is it could come up as an error. You won't get the email that you're supposed to get, you know, things like this. got to make sure you finish it off or, or you'll get an error so I'm, I'm a teacher there so I'll put in lecturer and this is a level two today's day right now the key code you can either enter it in by and you would have been sent this but through an email but now I find because some people get mixed up with the uh, there's no zeros or O's but what people get mixed up with that is a zero and a O and so I find that the best way to do this is to highlight five of the characters the first five go into the first one then go through the next five making sure you don't put in the dashes okay they're automatically put in later but I am thinking of changing this to put it in that you can just copy and paste it all in one go through the problems that I ever in the past with it from some people not many but it does happen <clears throat> okay so I've entered that if there, if, there, if there was a problem on the other form then it would come up now what it's trying to do is opening up the web page and it's going to register the program now the web page is open all the details that you've already put in are there now if you find that you can't read that image don't worry reload it until you can find one that you can actually read it's to stop these automatic robots that prowl the let the web to stop them putting data in and trying to get into the programs on the web so it's six characters make sure it doesn't matter if you enter them uppercase or lowercase it will still pick it up so you submit your form okay so it, everything's okay so then you continue and that should be the first and last time you see that program okay it's just registering it with the program now within the system 
as well as on the internet and you will get an email to say that you have registered it so now we can carry on okay now being as it's your first time I would read the tutorial okay just to explain some certain bits so I'm not going to read everything just show you you know you go through go through go through and next and then what you can do is you can it will go to start and you enter your name whoops not a very good type of me okay press the enter key brings up the enter button now this is level two so there's 12 subjects well sorry 13 if you're a modern apprentice plus the got sorry 11 12 if you're a modern apprentice and 13 with the end goal test this is the end goal test right so what we'll do we'll pick safety now what it's doing it's choosing you how many questions is going to be in the sa uh, safety and the what the pass mark is what you can do is you can pick from five to 60 questions okay it's up to you it depends how much time you've got you're not set to how many you want to do but for this i'm only going to pick five because of the time i don't have to go through them all okay so what you've got you've got your question you've got your time it's taking how many you've got correct how many you've got incorrect so we're on question one of five okay i'm going to get some wrong because i want to show you what happens if you do get some wrong which one of the following should be included so first aid treatment for me, when it's necessary for personal protective equipment the maximum hours that can be worked which do you think well we'll go for that okay that's correct this time so what sort of fire will be suitable for most use of water fire extinguishers so fire fed by wood or paper when there's presence of oil lpg fire where electrics are involved well we'll go for that now that's wrong but it does tell you the correct answer what should be provided for operatives have engaged in small in removal of solid fuel fire back boiler from inside a chimney breast with reference to personal protective equipment a respirator with renewable filter and air defenders an airline with breathing apparatus and barrier cream industrial gloves safety footwear and air defenders a respirator with renewable filter and air gloves and in sorry industrial gloves okay so which do we think okay let's try that one. Oh, it's d okay so that's two we've got wrong so which of the following scenarios is likely to lead to an evacuation from a construction site or property was it be a water leak a gas leak asbestos electrical supply failure so which do we think these are quite tough okay so it could be a gas leak okay the type of fuel present in a class a fire is so you do need to know <laughs> your, your fire extinguishers flammable gases metals liquids solid fuel so we'll go for solid fuel okay right so we've now done our questions we've only got 60 percent unfortunately we've got percentage incorrect with 40 percent oh dear we haven't passed time it's taken us do we want another test do we want to go for exit the program or do we want to review questions questions you review are these questions you got wrong down here this is telling you your actual answer you gave not the actual answer that it should be all right so we'll go to review our questions so what sort of file would, so these are the questions we've got wrong okay what sort of fire will be suitable for the use of water fire extinguishers this yellow one is the question you gave okay so you've got two questions that you got wrong say so question one of two so it's a fire so we've got that one correct i like to answer the previous one so respirator with renewable renewable filter and air defenders so we'll go for d right so that's correct well done now if you get above 70 percent on this which we have now we've got 100 percent we can print a certificate if you want to this is proof that you've done it okay so it will tell you if it was awarded to who you, the subject you did how many percent you got and the date you did it so you can print it i'm not going to try printing it off from here because you, you know it's pointless for me at the moment okay so we can either redo another test or you can exit the program either from there or from that other point but what you can do you can keep a track of how you're doing so we've just done one test badger six percent but it doesn't do your final mark you got if you redid the questions it's just your original mark okay and that's basically the program it's quite simple to use okay and uh, there's plenty of questions on there and the questions are all based on the city and guilds gola exams thank you very much for listening